Sani Banani, Dumelang, hello. My name is Musima Pale and I'm your host for CSRR Connect. Today we are coming to you from the CSRR International Convention Center to recognize the promotion of 18 researchers to the chief and principal researcher level. Stilettos and loafers are part of today's dress code. No lab coats and safety boots. If you don't believe me, come along, let's go see. I would like to at the outset uh, congratulate most sincerely the, the people that have brought us here today, our new chief and principal researchers. We have achieved something that very few people have been able to achieve in this organization. You know, I looked at the numbers recently. The percentage of our set base that our principal researcher is about 12.5% and the percentage of chief researchers as a function of the set base in the CSIR is less than 1%. So you are indeed the cream of the crop. Please, let's give them a round of applause. Dr. Santosh, congratulations on your new appointment and welcome to CSIR Connect. Thank you, thank you very much. The CSIR is committed to the development of our people and building capacity on relevant skills. So please tell us about your journey leading up to this moment of Chief Researcher appointment. What were the challenges and how did the CSIR assist you to overcome? I think, I mean, I've been at the CSIR now for about five years and to me it's a fantastic organisation, lots of opportunities. So I think that has made it quite easy in terms of attaining uh, the KPIs and, and the goals that have been set. I think one of the huge issues or challenges is securing uh, private sector funding, especially in this kind of environment where there is very low investor kind of sentiment. And also in terms of the area that we work in biotechnology, there's not many so-called industries or companies in South Africa. In terms of what made it easy, uh, from a CSR point of view, I have a fairly young team and they're very enthusiastic and willing to learn, so they need leadership and steer them in the right direction. And they have benefited from the outputs in terms of the research that we have done and they've moved up the career ladder as well. Thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Santosh. Thank you. Dr. Jabu, congratulations on your new appointment and welcome to CSR Connect. Uh, thank you, Mosema, and uh, much appreciated. Dr. Jabu, I believe principles and the impact we wish to make to improve the quality of life for South Africans are about pursuing excellence, celebrating people, personifying integrity and welcoming collaboration. How do you plan on using this new appointment of Chief Researcher to transform the lives of South Africans and that of Team CSIR, especially those who wish to follow suit? I think it is a privilege for us to reach this level of Chief Researcher and uh, we are coming in obviously to be role models, you know, to Team CSIR, those who are following after us, who would also see that it is possible, that it can be done. So our role is to lift as we rise and to ensure that uh, we also support them to get to where we are. You are definitely living up to our values. I like what you said, lift as you rise. Thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Jabu. Thank you, Mosima, for the opportunity. Dr. Sandy, welcome to CSIR Connect and congratulations on your new appointment. Thank you so much. So, Dr. Sandy, the CSIR's purpose is to touch lives in meaningful ways that have a far-reaching impact. How do you plan on using your new appointment of Chief Researcher to distinguish yourself in your field of expertise? Well, I guess in order to answer that question adequately, I've got to give you a little bit of um background information on the research that we do, and specifically the Southern Ocean. Um, so the Southern Ocean plays a disproportionately important role when it comes to buffering the impacts of climate change by absorbing a large portion of the CO2 that's in our atmosphere. Um, of the global oceans, the Southern Ocean takes up half. Um, and also the Southern Ocean takes up 75% of the excess heat that's being generated in the atmosphere by anthropogenic um, CO2. So it's really important when it comes to buffering the impacts of climate change. And we don't really have a good handle on how it works and very importantly, how sensitive those mechanisms are to climate change. So as chief researcher and the research group leader of SOCO, I aim to continue 
continue Socko's legacy of trying to understand and determine how the Southern Ocean does such a good job of taking up all the carbon and heat. Thank you so much, Dr. Sandy. We look forward to seeing more of the work you do to continue the Socko legacy. It's such a pleasure. Thank you so much for having me. Dr. Ritoto, welcome to CSIR Connect and congratulations on your new appointment. Thank you. Dr. Ritoto, principal researchers are specialists who sustain track record has led to widespread recognition within their field and who are able to lead research and development programs. Please tell us about the programs that you are involved in and the highlights thereof. We look at alternative energy like uh, hydrogen. We have uh, the DSI that's driving the hydrogen roadmap and uh, this is part of the, that uh, contributing towards that work and you know seeing how we can address the challenges that are faced within not just uh, South Africa but also the continent you know one could ask why are you looking at hybrid when you already have full electric vehicles well do we have the infrastructure to accommodate that in Africa you know the cost of these systems we have people who have had legacy systems which you know it to it this creates a platform where you say you can have inclusiveness as far as transitioning with what you have and you know bringing in this newer technology and to be able to uh, leverage of both technologies that exist amazing work that you're doing thank you so much for joining us Dr. Ditoto Thank you. Pinda, welcome to CSIR Connect. Thank you, Mosima. The National System of Innovation is a highly competitive market. We are competing for experienced and qualified talent with academia and industry. What competitive advantage and impact will an increased pool of chief and principal researchers have on the CSIR and the work we do for South Africans? Thank you for that, Musima. This is very important for the CSIR. Um, the larger pool of principal and chief researchers um, shows the strength of the CSIR in terms of carrying out research, development and innovation. Um, and it also helps us to remain one of the key um, research and development organizations in the continent. So having a very strong capacity at this level is very critical for the CSR. It also helps us in terms of building new capacity in these areas. So now we have a larger pool of mentors, a larger pool of supervisors that can help us to grow other researchers in the space. Thank you, Pinda. And with that said, it is evident that the number of chief and principal researchers is an integral area to ensure delivery on the capacity capacity of the CSIR mandate. So what measures does the CSIR undertake each financial year to ascertain the achievement of this key area and to contribute to the development of our researchers to fulfill these roles? Thank you, Masima. We have a very strong program on capacity development or capability development. So we have a number of initiatives and programs to help our researchers to develop. So we've got our accelerated researcher development programs, but on top of that, we also encourage the development of our staff. So annually, um, each researcher would have a discussion with their line manager to draw up a developmental plan, and that's what we track, just to make sure that our researchers are developed Developed. And then we have this tool of career ladders that we use to then assess the growth in the competencies of our researchers. Hence, then we allow them to grow from candidate to researcher level to senior researcher level, principal researcher level, and ultimately chief researcher level. Thank you so much for joining us, Pinda. Thank you. Congratulations once again to all our researchers. And thanks to you, Team CSIR, for supporting each of their journeys. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time.